not waiting that her family tried to explain to you that if the baby comes out black. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I would have known that I was pregnant, but I don't want this. He just like kind of, he'll sit by him and he'll move away and it's hard as a mother to see that. So did you ever ask him, are you sleeping with? Yes, Your Honor. I, oh, you did? Yes. And what was his response? He said yes. My mother and her girlfriend just jumped on me. Y'all, you come mess them I up. I said her girlfriend just jumped on me, and I did have but somebody come true. over there. She made that phone call. Them guys, they loaded up. They came to my house. They bust out every window. They busted out my car. They, they destroyed my house. Mr. Hamilton, you have petitioned the court for a lie detector test on Ms. Lombardi, as well as DNA testing regarding her baby daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Here is the other side of the story. Ms. Lombardi, you argue that Mr. Hamilton is simply blinded by jealousy and paranoia. Yes, Your Honor. The lying and betrayal may have gotten to Mr. Hamilton after all. No, Your Honor, it's actually history and reality. Like you just stated, I had to get our other three tested behind our back after she admitted to cheating uh, with the first one. But what Mr. Hamilton had to reveal next was shocking. Mm -hmm. I'm driving home, I see one of my, and this is around the time of conception here, I see one of my buddies coming out my apartment. It did not end there. Why is it never easy? Two in the morning, uh, I asked him, I said, man, what you not doing true. in my house, man? Not He's going to tell me he would bring some DVDs back that uh, I let him borrow the week before. This was Miss Lombardi's reply to the situation. Why I was he there returning DVDs at that time of I night? guess because he felt like he wanted to and drop them off. I didn't have nothing. I was not naked. You know, A I was fully panties? dressed. No. Miss Lombardi did not stop there. She had more dirty laundry to air out. This man was walking He out is my the house. cheater, Your Honor. He is just trying okay, to put the blame I mean, I on me. Nobody, he is the one who has been cheating. Ain't nobody perfect, but you know what I mean? It's been a while. See? Do you see, Your Honor? Yet Mr. Hamilton is denying their newborn daughter, and it was for this reason. Compared to my other children, my other children So she's so a little light. dark. So, so what? So light, Your Honor. There's no way this is my baby. She's too dark. Miss Lombardi, however, had this to disclose to the court before the results came in. Before you read the results, I would like to say something to Mr. Hamilton. May well, I? Well, this would be the time. Yes. You were right. About what? I cheated with your what? friend. What? Oh, oh word? Oh. Really did that, man? Yes, twice. The night I came on this yes, outside. Yes, I really did. Man. Yes, I cheated, Your Honor. And this is baby it's, right here. It is a possibility. Finally, it was time for the results. Mr. Hamilton. Yes, ma'am. You are her father. Oh my God, I knew it! I told you! I told you! I knew it! Hopefully now, Mr. Hamilton can be a father without any worry in his mind. Good day, everyone. Mr. Gray, you are suing your wife and the mother of your daughter for a paternity test. You and your parents claim Mrs. Gray lied to you about her sexual past, and since discovering the truth about her, you now all fear the baby is not your biological daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Here is Miss Gray's version of the story. Mrs. Gray, you argue that your husband is destroying your marriage because he no longer trusts you. You claim that your in-law's influence is causing your husband to deny his child. And this is how their story started out. How this relationship started with Ms. Gray? Yes, Your Honor. Caitlin and I, we met through Facebook. We went out on a first date to a basketball game. Uh, about a week later, we had our second date and she came to my mother's house. Uh, she stayed for a couple days and... As the two hash out the details, Mr. Gray's mother has this to reveal to the court. How about when her family tried to explain to you that if the baby comes out black, the secrets, however, did not stop there. About doubt, you know, I had gotten and broken into her email accounts and two to four weeks prior to our first date, actually, she had sexual conversations with numerous guys. Wait, there's more to that story. The information was not there. I had a family member that was actually a computer engineer mm -hmm. and he helped me get all of those emails back. She started crying and bawling and uh, she admitted to it. She actually admitted to sleeping with six other people than me. Miss Gray got extremely emotional and it was just heartbreaking to see. I'm listening. I just know where magnet Keely is, Tanners. 
it could be any other person. And I know that for a fact, because if I had been pregnant for six months, I would have known, I would have known that I was pregnant. But I don't want this whole subject to destroy our family. I want to stay with Tanner. It was now time for the results. In the case of Gray versus Gray, when it comes to Keely, Mr. Gray, you are her father. Now, Mr. Gray and his family can be reunited with his daughter and create some good memories. Mr. Watson, you are in court to prove that you are not the biological father of the defendant's four-year-old son, Kevin. You say that while you were away, Ms. Mahoney was having sexual relationships with two different men, and either of them could be the father. Yes, Your Honor. Let us take a look at Ms. Mahoney's side. Ms. Mahoney, you say you are 99.999% sure that Mr. Watson is the father and deny his accusations of infidelity. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. This, however, is affecting one more person than just Watson and Mahoney. Ms. Mahoney, how is this paternity doubt affecting your child? Hard. He takes it hard. He looks up to him a lot. Sometimes he gets real short-tempered with him and... Ms. Mahoney had more to add. These details are only getting weirder. He just like kinda, he'll sit by him and he'll move away and it's hard as a mother to see that. And Kevin's four, so he understands this rejection. Yeah. Mr. Watson had this to share with the court and it definitely did not help Miss Mahoney's case. What did you find when you came home? She had two men staying with her and they were showering her, showering her with gifts and taking care of her. Now, me as a man, personally, I'm not gonna do that for no woman. Being a man, though, you should have left me. But there was more to this story, and for some reason, the two of them had very different opinions on it. So did you ever ask him, are you sleeping with? Yes, Your like, Honor. Oh, you did? Yes. And what was his response? He said yes. However, Mr. Watson was not finished sharing his side, though. That's what did her friend tell you, Mr. Watson? The friend told me how she was sleeping with multiple men, plus the two staying with her, and how men were crawling through the window at late at night to get them but little But it's my house, so why would I have to have somebody no. crawl through a window? And this is what her former friend told you? Yes, Your Honor. But then the tables were turned on Mr. Watson when Miss Mahoney had this to say. Because I just found out they had sexual intercourse under a bridge. Okay, under a bridge. The results came through and this is what it said. Mr. Watson, you are the father. See, I love you, I love you so much. Now, Mr. Watson can be with his son and hopefully build the relationship he always wanted. Versus daughter, uh, Miss Co, you say you're here today because your daughter is an out of control teenager and she needs help. Furthermore, you claim that uh, you have serious doubts uh, that your daughter's boyfriend, Mr. Boyce, is the father of your seven-month-old grandson. You say Mr. Boyce has been a good father to the baby, but that your daughter has numerous sexual partners, and so he needs to know the truth. Let us hear the daughter's side of the story. Now, Ms. Co. You dispute your mother's claims. You say you are positive that Mr. Boyce is your baby's father and say today's result of the paternity test will prove your mother wrong. Her mother believes she's out of control and this is why. From fights at school, hitting a police officer, not once but twice. She hitting a police a, officer. She punched a police officer twice. But this next story was even worse. My mother and her girlfriend just jumped on me. Y'all, you come mess them I up. I said her girlfriend just jumped on me, and I did have but somebody that wasn't come true. over there. She made that phone call. Them guys, they loaded up. They came to my house. They bust out every window. They busted out my car. They they destroyed my house. The daughter clearly had no remorse from what she had to say. They didn't jump. They broke out windows, car. They hit me with a brick. I got hit in the back of the head. What? And I also stopped them. I didn't think they was gonna do that to the house. I didn't say mess the house up. They took that into their own hands. The mother, however, had this disturbing information to reveal next. Ms. Co. Mom, you're saying that Ms. Co. Daughter moved a gang into your home? Yes. It's at your house. You pay bills. If you wanted them out, you should have put them out. I worked from 7 o'clock at night to 7 o'clock in the morning, seven days a week. How many people were there living down there? 
They weren't even living down. The daughter then brought in her witness who could potentially be the father. In the beginning, I knew it was a possibility, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, he, he, made, he made me grow more, you know what I'm saying, since he's been around. Because my mom, she, she passed away. And once I told her about it, you know what I'm saying? She just, oh, that's my grandbaby. She she buying them everything. I'm like, oh. So your mom. She passed away. Finally, the results were in. Mr. Boyce. You are not the father. Hopefully they find out who the father is so that the beautiful baby can have closure.